Hey guys, Sean Terry, how's it going? We're going to get started here. People are still piling on like crazy. I can tell you this, do not leave this call because you will not get back on because we have a full, full uh, capacity right now. So uh, you might lose your spot if you do get off, but uh, you're going to discover how these four real estate newbies humiliated their unsuspecting bosses by quietly raking in up to $72,862 in their spare time, and yes, using no cash and no credit. You're going to learn how Brian replaced his $65,000 salary. He made $72,800 in only nine months, working just two hours a day. Um, we're going to dissect exactly how he did this, what he did, and that's awesome. So, um, the other thing, too, is he had no prior real estate experience. You're also going to discover how Matt nearly doubled his income by making $45,300 working just five hours a week. He has a great story. He had no prior real estate experience whatsoever. And uh, you also learn how Dustin made $31,800 in his first 45 days with no marketing whatsoever, and he Definitely had no prior real estate experience at all. And also, you're going to learn how Philly Mike, that of Philly, um, was a nurse, actually is a nurse, and uh, has made $85,000 in only seven months working part-time around his nursing job. I want to show you exactly what he did and how he scaled it and uh, really focused on uh, uh, some strategic areas of his business to, uh, to get it to where it is at today. He had a little bit of prior real estate experience. Um, he was uh, new, and he was looking for a, a way to do this business, and he was searching around and looking for information, but uh, he didn't have a clear path on what to do, and uh, you'll learn exactly about that. So you're going to also learn what the number one common thread on why these four and many others are super successful, okay? And uh, you want to make sure you stay on to the end. Because uh, you are going to want this ridiculous spreadsheet. I'm going to show you exactly how to get this spreadsheet for free. Um, I'm going to actually take you into this spreadsheet. I'm going to show you how I work with it. And I'm going to show you how Philly Mike um, actually used this spreadsheet to scale his business. This is a spreadsheet you definitely want to have. And I'm going to give you it for free at the end of the call. I'm going to show you exactly where you can get that. This uh, spreadsheet, I can tell you, is an absolute game changer. Now, let me tell you a quick story. For me, I had a dead-end job, a job that I completely hated, a job that was uh, just mind-numbing, I can tell you that. Um, it was the type of job that on Sunday evening, I get that sick feeling because I knew on Monday I had to wake up bright and early. I had to go to work. And, and when I did get to work, I couldn't wait till 12 o'clock until I could get lunch, you know, and then I couldn't wait till five o'clock until I could get out of there. But guess what? Then I had to deal with commuting and, uh, and then go home completely exhausted and completely worn. Well, guess what? Then I couldn't wait till, you know, Wednesday cause Wednesday was what hump day. And then I couldn't wait till Friday because Friday was, uh, you know, everybody's happier. It's like, you know, Joel Osteen has that book is an every day is Friday because America, everybody, loves Friday and they feel better on Friday. Well, why is that? Because they hate their jobs all week. So, and I was the exact same way. Um, I was living month to month and, and I had to work to where, to where I could plan my money. So I had, I had, you know, I didn't run out of money by the time the end of the month came around. So there's some months I'd run out of money on the 25th and I'd still have the whole entire end of the month to go and I'd be in a uh, screwed situation. And uh, I could not stand the politics in the office. I hated that thing where you had to feel like, you know, you felt guilty if you didn't get to the office early and you felt guilty if you weren't the last one to leave and you felt guilty about this. I just, you know, could not stand it. And I never felt secure. I always felt that my job was in jeopardy, that I might get replaced by somebody else. And uh, there was all those fear tactics. And uh, I could never catch a break. It seemed like, you know, you know, everything, you know, just was not going my way at the time. And I was sick of just getting by. You know, that point where you're just fed up, you're pulling your hair out, and you're just absolutely sick of getting by. Well, my boss was a complete jerk, egomaniac, and that didn't make anything easier because, uh, you know, you couldn't tell him where to go because you lose your job. So you kind of had to play puppy dog 
you know, to the whole boss route. And I just didn't like that at all. And I could not wait till Friday. So one Saturday afternoon, I was called up and I had to go on a sales call. And I was not happy because Saturday was the day I could spend with my family. I could get things done around the house and, you know, I could kind of relax and be away from that. Well, I had to go on the sales call and, and I was uh, not happy. I could tell you that, but you know, I, I did need the money, you know, to obviously pay the bills. So I was like in this, you know, this no win situation. So I was driving down the freeway here in Phoenix and, uh, and I was flipping through the radio stations. Um, and I was looking for college game day, something I could listen to. I and mean, there's a radio station here in Phoenix called 1510 KFNN. It's a financial news radio. It's on AM. And I turned to that and I heard this guy, right? He was talking about this very profitable, unique concept. He was talking about how you could flip properties. And he was talking about how you could flip properties using no cash, no credit, and having no experience. He said you can actually flip a property or sell a property you don't actually own. He said you can actually get a contract on a property and then turn around and sell it before that contract time is the closing time is up. Now, he was talking about people that were making $5,000 per deal. And then some people are making 10000 per deal and some people making $20,000 per deal. Now, I can tell you this. He also said they had no cash, no credit, and no experience that they were making that. Now, guys, at the time, I had a 580 credit score. At the time, I was completely broke. I hated my job. I was looking for something different, right? I was so skeptical, though, that I turned the channel, and I remember I mumbled them under my breath, and I go, there is no way. This is crazy because I thought you had to have cash and credit to go out and do this. And see, here's the thing is that I was, I, I was you know, born and raised in Vermont, and I had that kind of New England type of uh, you know, mental attitude, I guess you could say, and, and not the stereotype, but I was closed-minded. And uh, a very successful person once told me, he said, listen, your mind is like a parachute. If it's not open, it doesn't work. Well, guess what? My mind was closed, and, and, and I turned the channel, and I, I said, there's no way this can happen. Because like I said, I thought you had to have great credit to do real estate, and you had to have money. And I didn't have either. You know, I didn't have two pennies to pinch together, and <laughs> my credit, I had like a 580 credit score. But something in my gut, and I can tell you this, you know, um, you know, God has always been a major impact in my life. Well, at this particular time, he tapped me on the shoulder, right, or, or, or basically slapped me upside the head and said – Turn the radio back. And it was God's intervention. I know it today. And I turned the station back and continued to listen to what that gentleman had to say. Now, he explained a unique concept where you could market for a motivated seller. You could find a seller that's in distress. You could find a seller that has an urgent situation in your, their life. And the seller could be a, an absentee investor who, uh, who owns a property and the tenant just trashed it and has to move out. It could be a seller that just got transferred and they have to sell their house. It could be a seller who has a fire damage property. It could be a seller who, you know, um, what, what went through a divorce situation. It could be a seller who, who inherited a property, right? So all different reasons. And you could target and you could market for a motivated seller. And then he said you could sign a contract with that seller. You don't have to fund it. You don't have to get your credit pulled. You don't have to raise capital. But you can do something very, very important, and that is sign a contract. Now, when you sign a contract, this gives you equitable interest. And what is equitable interest? And equitable interest is controlling interest of that property. That seller cannot sell it to anybody else. You control the property as soon as you sign a contract with a seller. It's very important. Now, on the contract, you're going to have a couple different things. You're going to have a closing date. The closing date is typically 45 days from the date you sign the contract, right? You're going to have a purchase price. You know, in this case, let's call it $50,000, right? And also, too, on there, 
you're going to have what's called out clauses. And we'll talk about that. Out clauses are clauses that will allow you out of the contract if for some reason you can't sell the property. So you can sign a property. He explained this concept and he explained it on this radio show that day. And see, then I started really listening because it started making sense. I was like, oh, maybe that could work. And then he said, you could market for a cash buyer or any buyer in this case. You could market for any buyer. And, and let's say you go market for a buyer. And why would a buyer want to look for a property? Well, right now I can tell you this is a time in the marketplace, which is ridiculous. Even Warren Buffett came out and said, I would do whatever I could to buy thousands and thousands of houses. That was his quote, his words. The market right now is at the perfect time to where buyers are coming in in droves and they're looking for two different things. Properties they can fix and flip and properties that they can buy and hold for long-term wealth building. So here's the deal. You can market for a potential buyer. This is what he explained. And you could sign a contract. Let's call the contract $60,000. Well, you can take both of those contracts, right? You have two pieces of paper, and you can bring them to a title company, and you can instruct them to do what's a double, called a double escrow or what's called a simultaneous close, or you can do an assignment. Now, what is an assignment? An assignment is you can sell your contract rights. So in this case, you bring it to the title company, and the buyer will fund in, wire in, $60,000 to the closing table, of which $50,000, right, $50,000 goes to the seller. So the buyer wires in 60, 50,000 goes to the seller, and 10,000 goes to us, right? Now, here's the deal. You could do one property a month and make $10,000 a month, and you can make $120,000 a year. Now, let me ask you this. What would it take on your current job to get a $120,000 a year raise? Who knows, right? Now, what if you did half of that? What if you did 60000 like, you know, like, uh, or 72000 like Brian, you know, or you did, you know, like Matt, you did 40, What would it take to get a 50 or 60 or 70 or $100,000 a year raise on your job? Well, a lot more than this. Now, like I said, at one deal a month, you're doing good. You're doing four or five deals a month and you're living large. You're doing more than that and you're making a fortune. Now, this is not a new idea or concept, but I can tell you when I was listening to the radio station and, the, and a man was explaining this information, this was a new concept to me. I never heard it before. I never knew you could do this. I had no idea that, 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 that this could happen, how you could sell a property you don't own and you can make a spread in between. I didn't know that. But there is a lot of moving parts. So what happened was this is that I learned about it, right? And I was like, holy cow. I got excited about it and I couldn't sleep. I was like, oh my gosh, the possibilities of what could happen. Just like anything new. Anything new you get excited about, you have all these possibilities and all these questions, right? So, but I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to, you know, how to, you know, write a contract. I didn't know what out clauses. I didn't know what to say in the contract. I didn't know what contract to use. The first contract that I had, I went to Staples, <laughs> you know, like Office Max. I went to Staples and I found a, you know, a residential purchase contract. You know, I didn't know how to fill it out or what to do. I didn't know how to negotiate with a seller. I remember the first seller I talked to, he said, here's my price. I said, okay. That was my negotiation techniques. Okay. You know, so marketing for sellers. I, what was marketing and what was for sellers? I didn't know how to do that. Opening escrow, didn't know how to do that. Earnest money, didn't know how to do that. I didn't have that, right? Bandit signs, what the heck were bandit signs? I didn't know that. Realtors, I was intimidated and afraid to work with realtors because they were professional realtors. And I was this broke kid, right? Trying to flip houses. Didn't know it. I didn't know what REOs even were at that time. I didn't know what short sales even were at that time. Didn't have websites. Didn't know how to build websites or understand or internet marketing or any of that type of stuff. Right. I know how to find buyers. I just went through the newspaper, you know, and I found people that had rental properties that they were trying to rent or trying to sell. I called them up. Lease options had no clue what that was. Email list. What the heck was an email list? 
you know, I didn't know what that was. Software, nope, didn't know what that was. Coaching, didn't even know what that was. The bottom line is, is I didn't know what to do with all these different aspects. So what did I do? I started looking for answers at any means possible. I looked for books and started reading books. I tried to find all this free information on books and stuff. You know, you know, I went to REI clubs and I went there and I remember sitting in the room and there was like a thousand people in this REI club meeting. I'm like, holy cow, there is no way I'm going to be able to, you know, get properties. There's a thousand other people looking for properties as well. You know, I didn't have forums. I, you know, I, I, I went to a couple of forums or I think they had back in 2003. This was 2003. Yeah, they had internet back then, right? They had, <laughs> they had uh, Google or whatever. Home study courses, seminars, ebooks, blogs, YouTube. And what happens is we get inundated. We start searching for what and we get all this cluster mess of all this information that comes in podcasts, emails, gurus, webinars. And then what happens is all this information, and I, was, I got completely overwhelmed and fear started setting in. I got, what if I screw up? You know, what if I, what if I try to do this and I sign a contract? And what if I screw it up? What if I mess up and I don't know what I'm doing? What if I sign a contract and I can't sell the property? What if I say something wrong? You know, what if I do something wrong? What if I have to buy the property? That's what freaked me out. I was like, holy cow, if I sign a contract, which is a legal binding contract, what if I have to buy the property if I can't sell it? What if I get sued? I was like, what if I do something wrong in the contract and they want to come after me, right? What does all these acronyms mean like EMD? I didn't know what that meant, right? What if you have no one to help? Like, what if I didn't have anybody to help me, which I didn't? You know, what if they want to check my credit? That freaked me out because I was like, man, I have terrible credit at the time. And I was like, holy cow, I, I don't want anybody. I'm done. How can I do this if I'm broken and have, don't have any money, not knowing what to do or how to do it, and more importantly, not knowing what I don't know? See, I was afraid of not knowing. I didn't know what mold was or issues with a house was or, 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 or foundation cracks. I didn't know what that was. And how do you write the contract? Didn't know how to do that, right? What, what do I have to do if I don't have any buyers? What if I can't make time around my work? Yeah, that was difficult. You know, what if I can't find a deal? What if i out there looking I can't find one? How do I know what a good deal is? I didn't know. What if I just played scared of the whole process? So here's the deal. I got the excitement. I, 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 I heard about it. I was like, oh, my gosh. I got excited about it, right? And, I, and I, I, I started looking for answers, and I ended up feeling lost with no real direction. I didn't have any money. I had a 580 credit score. I never bought a house before. I was not confident myself at all when it came to dealing with real estate. I was scared to death to sign a contract with no buyers, and I had no mentor. So I'm sitting there. I'm bummed, right? And guess what I did next? I started talking to my friends and family and said, hey, you know, do you know anything? And maybe you can, you know. So I talked to my father-in-law. I said, my father-in-law said, hey, is it possible that I could get a property under contract and then turn around and sell it before I have to close on it? He said, absolutely not. You have to, if you sign a contract, you have to close on the property and then you have to, you can sell it after that point. Okay, that's what he told me. Bam, shut me down. It was like a big bubble burst, you know? And then he said, well, you know, why don't you talk to my friend? He's been in real estate for 20 years. Talk to him. He might be able to help you out. So he referred me to his realtor friend, realtor friend, which is a great guy, the nicest guy in the world. And he said, hey, listen, you know, I don't want to burst your bubble, but, you know, all those deals are scooped up by professional investors. It's going to be very difficult for you to find anything like that. <sighs> there goes my bubble again. Yes, yeah, I know you didn't want to burst my bubble, but you did, right? So, and then I went talk to friends and family. Everyone I talked to told me I was crazy. I even went to title companies. And I said, hey, can you do this? And, they, and most of the title companies said, no, you can't do it, right? So I was, I was in the struggling, what do I do? And see, surveys show that 70% get exactly like that and they quit. See, for me, I don't know if I'm just a blockhead <laughs> or what. Um, I spent four years in the United States Marine Corps. I never went to college. I'm not the smartest tool in the uh, – in the toolbox at all, at all. But I can tell you this, I was so frustrated, 
so dissatisfied, so fed up with where I was that I wanted out so bad, I was willing to do whatever I possibly could to get out of the situation I was in. But see, 70% of the people just say, forget it, and they quit. So what happened? Well, I actually went up in 2003. I found the guy who uh, on the radio, and I bought his system. I had a $250 Capital One credit card. My wife had a $250 Capital One credit card, and I bought his system, and, uh, and I read it from cover to cover. And see, here's the deal. In his system, right, he taught that I had to go out and knock on pre-foreclosure doors to find motivated sellers. Okay, that's what he said. You got to knock on pre-foreclosure doors to find motivated sellers. Now, I'm the type of guy when my daughter brings home Girl Scout cookies or, or those chocolate bars and you got to go sell them to all the neighbors and friends. I'm the guy that doesn't like to bug any of the neighbors, so I buy all the cookies and candy bars myself, right? You know, and just stick them in the corner and, you know, yeah, she wins. Great. But the bottom line is this, is that I was wanted out of my position so bad. So I get a list of all the pre-foreclosures, just like he said, and, hit, and the stuff was antiquated. It was 2003, and the tapes were made in 1992, right? So I get the list, and I go to my first house. And on the first house, I was freaking out. I knocked on the door, and there's this big guy that's six foot whatever. He was bald. He was sweaty. He had a wife beater t-shirt on. He had hair from coming all out of his chest. And he looked at me. He goes, what do you want? And I was like, ah. And what I wanted to say is, hey, I like to buy your house before it goes to sale on so-and-so date. And it didn't come out that way. I was a 33-year-old idiot going, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't spit it out. And I literally turned around and hightailed it back to my car. And I remember sitting in my car going, oh, my gosh, there is no way that I can do this. But it came back again. I wanted out so bad. So what happens is I went out and I went out and I became a door-knocking machine. Until I found someone that said they wanted to sell, and I got my first check. Like I said, I didn't know how to sign a contract. I didn't have buyers. I went to Staples and got the contract. I met the guy at the house. I didn't know how to negotiate. He set a price. So I said, okay. I signed the contract, and oh my gosh, luckily, thank God that it was a price that was below market because I found a buyer for $11,008 more than I had the contract for, and I found a title company after talking to 15 of them that said, okay, we can do it, and they closed the transaction. I made $11,008. That was a defying moment in my life, and from that point forward, I have bought and sold over $120 million. I can tell you this. Once you get your first check in this business, that changes everything. That is like opening the floodgates because you know what's going to happen. You understand it's going to happen, and you have confidence that it's going to work. $120 million in real estate. I built a $36 million property portfolio, 120 properties, and sold them in the height of the market in 2005. I've been involved in huge uh, deals from 138 acres to 326 you know, multi $15 million apartment complexes, commercial land, multifamily, all sorts of stuff. And believe me, it's not because I'm anything great. It's just because I push. And see, here, now, I run a super successful business here in Phoenix, and we do $10 million a year in real estate flipping houses, doing exactly what I'm telling you we do. We closed transactions this week. We closed transactions last week. I do not one deal a month. I do anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 deals a month, okay? And the bottom line is this, as I can tell you. I make 90% of my income in real estate. I don't make you know, 90% of my income selling stuff or whatever. I do this because I love the business, and I love teaching people, and I love working people, and, uh, and you'll see. Now, the results have been amazing. You know, I have a beautiful house here in Phoenix. I have a beach house in Dana Point, California um, with a private gated community with a right on an unbelievable bluff. It's crazy. Um, I built a $150,000 pool, um, which is a lot of fun. Drive luxury cars, get to travel on vacations all over the country. I take an entire month off in the month of July with my family. We just hang out at the beach and have fun, which is great. And, uh, and also hanging out with family. But the bottom line is the freedom. And I'm telling you this not to brag at all. Please don't take it as that. 
because like I said, I'm a goofball. I'm the biggest door. But the beautiful thing about this business is this, is that number one, it doesn't matter where you came from. I never came from a wealthy family. I came from, my dad made no more than $40,000 a year as a police officer. And my mom didn't work. And I lived in a tiny little seven seventy thousand $70,000 house in uh, South Burlington, Vermont. That's where I grew up. I never came from money. I grew up and everything I heard was you can't afford this and you can't afford that. So what happened was, is, uh, and it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're black or white. It doesn't matter if you're uh, smart or stupid, which, you know, I'm proof, right? It doesn't matter where you come from, how much money you have, what your credit score is. It doesn't matter where you are. You can get in this business and you can get checks like this. 43,340, and, that, and this is just one of many, I can tell you. So this was all done with no cash invested, no credit pulled, no experience needed, no expensive tools needed, no huge time commitment, no earnest money, no proof of funds, no transactional funding, no lenders, hard, soft money, no board money from friends or family, no dealing with banks, no difficult paperwork, no huge equity spreads, no REOs, no contracts, no equity deals. And I can tell you what happened was, in April of 2010, I had a decision to make. I, I had two ways to go. I was in that, you know, what they call the proverbial fork in the road, right? I either, A, I could build my business, expand in the markets, and I could just crank and, and keep all my secrets to myself. Not tell anybody, dominate the market, and uh, then go out and dominate other markets and just ramp up my marketing, hire more staff, and just bust it out. That was option number one. Option number two is I used to, I listened to a bunch of podcasts in um, in iTunes, and there was real estate podcasts in there, and there was nobody that was really telling anything about you know about podcasts about wholesaling or flipping houses or anything like that, and I decided to start a podcast, and that is where I could go out and teach and work with people and and share my passion for this business because like I said, I love real estate and that's why I love talking about it, I love teaching it, I love working with it. And the bottom line is you will make 10 times more money in real estate than you do with uh, any type of, you know, what, you know, webinars or selling products and stuff like that. But here's the deal is that, is that because of this podcast and teaching and working with our people, I've got people bringing me deals like I can't even handle. I get sometimes 10 to 15 deals a day going, hey, here, can you sell this? Can you do this? What about this? And what about this? And it's absolutely amazing. But the beautiful thing is it's crazy because it was actually featured up by Steve Jobs as a new and noteworthy. And we have right now over 100,000 downloads a month. Now, here's some of the reviews. Here's, here's one that just came in on March 5th, which I thought was uh, from Lewis. He said, hey, Sean, hey, I wanted to thank you for giving me the inspiration to keep moving forward, bashing through obstacles, and never, ever, ever giving up. I just got my first check of thirteen thousand dollars, and your podcast and encouragement had a big role in the in my mental and emotional state of mind needed to make it happen. Just wanted to drop you and say thank you and God bless. That's huge. That's incredible. You know, to be able to have that. I mean, look at you know this one right here where guys seventy five hundred. These are just posting reviews. Now let's talk about how these four and get in the meat here of exactly how these four did it. Okay. Now, let's talk about Brian, and specifically how he made $72,800 in only nine months working two hours a day. You're probably going, there's absolutely no way. I'm going to show you exactly how. See, Brian was skeptical when he first got started. Um, he went to his friends and family, and they all said it wouldn't work, right? He, uh, his fiance was leery. I can tell you that. I talked to his fiance. He goes, ah, you know. He said, okay, sounds good, but, you know, just, you know, go have fun. Go, go, go do what you're going to do. And uh, his future father-in-law said, don't get thrown in jail. Um, but the good thing is about Brian, he didn't listen to other people's opinions. Now, he used just one of my 12 magnetic marketing secrets to find motivated sellers and buyers. Okay, just one. And he chose Google. Okay. Now. Google is a great method because here you see at the colored part there, there is uh, paid ads right there where you see that and non-paid ads. Well, guess what? You can submit an ad to Google and uh, pay just in your local market, not all across the country, but pay a nominal fee 
to be able to, or just, you know, a cost per click and have your ad show up in your local market. Now, I gave him the exact keywords. Now, there are keywords like we buy houses. Someone types in we buy houses and ads will pop up or we buy houses in whatever city, ads will pop up and then people will click on those ads. Those people are motivated sellers. So we buy houses, we buy houses with signs, you know, we buy ugly houses. What happens is they type in a search term, an ad comes up, and then they click on the ad and it takes them to what's called a squeeze page. Now, this squeeze page, I have tested. I have tested the fields that the uh, motivated sellers fill out and which one converts better. I have tested every aspect of it, but I can tell you this, is that this works and it works incredibly well. And what, they, what a motivated seller would do, after they click on the ad, they'll fill in their information, name, email, phone, you know, property address, and all that information. And once they click submit, boom, you get a lead. And you get massive amounts of leads, and it's amazing. And obviously, the more leads you get, the more cash you can get. So what he did was, is he signed a contract. So what he did is he put a website up. He put ads on Google. People search terms like we buy ugly houses, we buy houses, whatever. And they found his website. They clicked on it. They filled out information that they wanted to sell their house. He got a lead in his email inbox of leads, and he called them back, and he talked to them. And then he signed a contract with them, a simple contract. Now, how about buyers? He, well, I can tell you right now, cash transaction, cash buyers, there are buyers out there looking for properties right now. So what he did, he did the same thing. Instead of focusing on keywords like we buy houses or we buy ugly houses, he focused on keywords as wholesale properties or buy wholesale properties or buy deep discount properties. <clears throat> so he did that. So what they do is they click on there, they land on a different squeeze page, they fill in their email address, and it would automatically build his email database uh, so he could email properties out to the buyer. So he get a lead coming in on one you know, keyword, we buy ugly houses, and he get another lead coming on another keyword, wholesale houses, and he just put the two together. And he'd sign a contract with a buyer, he sent the contract to a title company, an escrow agent, and, uh, and Brian has done this over the past nine months. It has made over $72,800, only working two hours a day. It's a set and forget campaign. He set it up, and, and he put the keywords in there. He put the web page in there, and he, uh, now, all he does is just monitor it, and that's it. Now, the beautiful thing about Google is you can control everything control where your ads will show in the marketplace geographically, how much, you know, um, you can bid on the thing, how much a budget per day, very cost effective. It's actually pretty cheap for marketing. But here's one of his recent checks on 127, 2012, $31,939. It's not bad. Now, what I did was, is I gave him the exact campaign. I gave him the campaign structure. I can't show him how exactly to uh, set up the campaigns. I gave him the exact keywords, the keywords that he could bid on. Okay. I gave him the ads, which ads pulled. And also more importantly, I gave him the exact squeeze pages in websites. So it was very simple. All he had to do was buy a domain and upload his site right to the domain. And boom, he was done. He was live with his ad. And I gave him all these different campaigns. Now let's talk about Matt. Now, Matt nearly doubled his income, making $45,300 working just five hours a week. Okay, And he had no prior real estate experience. Now, Matt had a corporate job making $50,000 a year, the typical corporate job. You have to be there at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. You get off at 5 o'clock. You have the office politics. You have lunch, the whole type of deal. He was looking for a way out because he, you know, Matt loves to go out and have fun. Right. I remember he, he got a twenty three thousand dollar check about uh, a month ago. And um, and actually, there's a video on, on one of our sites there. But uh, he got it. For, and he, the first thing he did was he booked a flight up to Utah and he went skiing with some buddies. So that's a great thing. That's what this will afford you to do. So he was scared to get started, but started because he didn't know what to do or how to do it because he had no prior real estate experience. Now, what did Matt do to find motivated sellers? What did he do and how did he do it? Let's talk about it. Matt decided to use direct mail. Okay. 
Now, direct mail is a great source in a way that you can have sellers calling you. Now, the most important aspects of direct mail is the mail piece, right, in the list to target. Now, what he did, he used my secret mail piece that is phenomenal that I use still, and I, I, I mail it every single month. And this mail piece gets an 11 to 15% response rate. It's what's called the yellow letter. And it's a yellow letter and it's handwritten. And you can either handwrite it yourself or there's a company called like yellowlettermail.com that can handwrite them for you. And, uh, and basically it says, uh, dear so-and-so, my name is so-and-so. And my husband and I, Dan and I, would like to buy your house at so-and-so address. Please call me. This letter works phenomenally well because it piques interest and it piques the seller to call you and it's handwritten and it's personalized and it's in a personalized invitation style envelope with a live stamp. This is a yellow letter and it works phenomenally well. I give examples of the yellow letter, how to use it, how it works, how to talk to sellers, everything. And now there's the ultimate mailing list. First is the inheritance list. The inheritance list you can get at usleadslist.com. Okay, and and this is where if people actually inherited property. Now, um, you know, if you're part of the Flip to Freedom Academy, you get special discounts from uh, from ordering from the list there. But that's a great list. Next one is the U.S. probate lead, um, and uh, these are probate lists. These are people who in, in, uh, almost like inherited a property or or uh, um, was willed the property. Um, absentee investors. These are people that are out of state or even in state that uh, don't live in the property. They're rental property. These are great lead sources. Now, free and clear properties. You can target properties that have 100% equity that are free and clear. Now, some of these properties, they have completely depleted their tax benefit to the current owner, and now they just want to sell it and get rid of it because they don't want to put any capital improvements into it. So these are four of some of the best lists you can mail using the Liel letter, and you will get results. People say, what's the first thing I should do to get started? First thing, get a Google AdWords campaign up immediately and then send out some, uh, some yellow letters to either the inheritance, probate, absentee, or free and clear, and that will get you results quickly. Now, he was working a job, right? So he, when he was working a job, he can't take all the calls coming in. So what did he do? He had to go to Google Voice, which uh, phenomenally is a free service. And he would retrieve the calls in the voicemail. It said something, just said, hi, this is Matt. Please your name and number after the tone. Remember, it's a personalized yellow letter. It doesn't have to be something sophisticated or anything like that. So what he did was is the calls came in. He retrieved them off the voicemail. He scheduled an appointment. I told him exactly what to bring on the appointment, exactly what to say, and how to negotiate. And he signed a contract with a seller. Now, how did Matt find buyers? Very simple. He would post an ad on Craigslist for free. And then he would drive people to the wholesale website, right? And they would put in their email address and this would build his email database of buyers for free. It's a great way to build a list. You can get in some markets anywhere from 30 to 40 uh, buyers a week doing this. Now, he had massive leads, buyers, leads, that all he had to do now is send an email out to his buyers, and he could sell the properties quickly. Then he signed a contract with a buyer. He brought it to a title company and, and, and told them to do a double escrow or an assignment. And Matt, working only five hours a week, just sending some letters out, taking some phone calls, right? $45,300. Not bad, Matt with no prior real estate experience. Now let's talk about Dustin. Dustin is an interesting story because uh, Dustin made $31,800 with no marketing experience at all. And the interesting thing about Dustin was, is he was completely broke, right? Dustin was completely broke. Um, he lived in a small town and he had no clue on how to do real estate. So he was in a situation, he's like, listen, what do I do if I have no money for marketing? I can't spend any money on the I can't do, what do I do? How do I get started, right? He went to Craigslist, and I told him exactly what to say to find motivated sellers to determine motivation. He also went to for sale by owner, right? And he talked to someone on for sale by owner. Now, I think the property was listed for like $84,000, and he got it under contract for $54,000. Well. Turn around, sold it, and uh, you know, did quite actually did two deals. One, you think of me like 
sixteen thousand or thirteen thousand dollars, but uh, we have a video of him. He actually in the video it actually shows the, his check and exactly what it got. It's pretty killer. But I showed him exactly what to say to the seller. I showed him how to determine motivation. This is critically important. When sellers call in, there are certain signs that they say, and you can to determine motivation um, to see if they're motivated or not. How to determine value of the property quickly, and how to schedule the appointment and what to bring on the appointment, okay? You want to bring comps on the property, what to bring there so you can talk and you can negotiate with the seller. So he signed a contract with the seller, and what he, how did he find a buyer? Well, guess what? He had limited money. So what he did is he just get little signs. I think he bought him at, you know, got him at Home Depot or whatever, and he put out hand bandit signs. Must sell house, you know, <laughs> you know cheap house, cash only. There it is. Cheap sign. Put them all around. He found buyers. Signed a contract with a buyer. Took it to the, uh, to a uh, double escrow. And he has changed his life. I can tell you absolutely 100% changed his life with no prior real estate experience whatsoever. Now, this is an interesting story. Let's dive in here on Philly Mike. Okay. Now, Philly Mike is a 30-year-old full-time nurse. And he lives in Philadelphia, of course, because he's Philly Mike. And he has made over $85,000 in the past seven months. And when I first met Philly Mike, he was uh, trying to flip houses. He, um, he, w he actually got two properties under contract, but he didn't get them at a good enough price because he didn't really understand how to do comps and stuff. But he was the person that went out and he wanted to do real estate. He just didn't know how to do it. So he went out and he went to real estate forums and talked to people and asked what to do and how to do it. And he was gathering all this information, but there was no clear direction on exactly specifically what he had to do. There was this fog of uncertainty. And so when I met him, he, he found me through the podcast, right? And uh, he was trying to flip houses. He was looking for a system that worked. And this is the biggest thing too. He was looking for someone that he could learn from that was actually doing deals and not just teaching. That's incredibly important. I wanted to say something here real quick is that there's a lot of people in this space. Right? There's a lot of people in this space, I know, they get on webinars, you probably get emails from everybody and their brother every single week, oh my gosh, another webinar, whatever. The bottom line is this, are they doing deals, are they doing real estate? I can tell you right now, just go to my website, subscribe to my buyers list, and guess what, you'll see properties that come out, you know, anywhere from 10, 15 properties a month I push out there and I sell them. Because the bottom line is, is that real estate is my number one source of income. And a great way of why I do this and why I love teaching is because it brings me deals. All of people bring deals all across the entire country and uh, here in Phoenix. It's incredible. So the bottom line is, is that he was looking for someone doing the business and not just teaching or selling some sort of or peddling some products. Now, it's a numbers game. See, with, with, when, it, when talking to Mike, what happened with, with him, I really wanted to, to, to understand that, listen, Mike, because see, guess what? People get started. And they go, you know, I want to get started in real estate and, and, and I want to do this, but yeah, I've tried to do it, but it's not working. What's wrong? Well, what's wrong? Well, it's wrong because, you know, I say, how many sellers have you talked to? And they go, well, I've talked to six sellers. Well, that's the problem. You can't talk to six sellers because the bottom line is, is for every 25 leads or sellers you talk to, you'll get one deal, Right. The more leads you get, the more money you make. Now, here's the deal. Matt only used one source of leads. Brian only used one source of leads. Dustin only used one source of leads. Imagine using all of the different methods. Now, you don't have to do it today. You can scale up into that to where you have all these different methods of leads coming in. And picture it like this. Picture it like digging for gold, right? Gold is a motivated seller. Dirt is an unmotivated seller. And you're going to go through a lot of dirt, and you're going to have to move a lot of dirt to find gold. But if you get good at digging for gold and you get good at moving dirt, then guess what? You can make a fortune in this business, okay? So now people go, well, I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to do it, but it's not working because you're digging with a spoon. Now, let me tell you this. If you had an opportunity for a week to go into an area 
and you could go out and you knew there was gold there, and you could go out and dig for a week, and you could pull out as much gold as you possibly could, would you show up on the site with a spoon? Would you show up on the site with a shovel? See, what's the difference between a highly successful person that flips houses is that they're moving dirt with a shovel. They're going through leads with a shovel. They're not coming with a spoon. See, what's the difference for me? I come with a backhoe. I come with an earth mover that's going to move earth all across the place. I'm going to dig up tons. I'm going to find the reservoir of gold because that's the deal. And see, that's the difference. Now, like I said, do you have to start there? No, you can scale in it. See, here's the deal. Leads come in to the funnel. And it can be through internet marketing, direct mail, bird dogs, whatever the case may be. They come in through the funnel. And the secret is to consistently have leads come into your funnel from the 12 magnetic marketing strategies. Okay? And now, you could be one and you could scale it to 72,000. Like Brian, for an example, he used one. He used Google. Right, And he wanted to do it to where he could bring income coming in, and now him and his fiance are looking for a beautiful house that they never thought they could afford because of this business. So now we – in the next step here is once you understand the secret right, of leads coming in, then what to do when leads going out. Okay, You have to know how to structure the deals. Now, high equity deals are those are pretty easy. Those are where you know a house is worth a hundred thousand and you can get the property at fifty thousand, you can sell it for sixty thousand. Those are all day long, twice a Sunday. Those are easy to do, and those are easy to spot when you're new. Now, how you maximize this and you can make more money per lead that comes in is that you can take properties. For an example, let's say you have a hundred thousand dollar property and they owe eighty thousand dollars. What do you do? Well, guess what? You can structure that deal as a cash flow with seller financing and sell that to an investor on a down payment, and they would be eating that property up all day long and twice on Sunday. But you have to know how to structure these deals, and I cover that in, ten, in, in detail. Now, retail seller with financing. What if you have a property that's worth 100000 and they owe 95000 What do you do? What if you have a property that's worth 100000 and they owe 100000 What do you do? There you go. You have to know how to structure these. Once you understand how to structure these correctly, you can turn dead leads into profit opportunities. These are $10,000 deals, I tell you that right now. This is how you go from you know, one or two or three deals to going out to about seven to 10 to 15 deals. Now, I'm going to take you into this website real quick. I'm going to go out of this presentation here. I'm going to take you in this website. And this is a website that you're going to get for free that I'm going to tell you, okay? Now, I'm going to show you how this works. And I got to do this real quick. <clears throat> okay, so here's the deal. Here's the website right here. I'm going to move this over here. Okay, this is the lead source. This is the Flip to Freedom Marketing to Income Analyzer. This is the lead source. We've got Bannet signs. Yellow letter campaign one is like to absentee owners, right? Yellow letter campaign two is to say, um, you know, inheritance, right? It's a little bit more expensive for the lead. Vacant houses are free. Internet marketing. Right, so now let's get this back down to say um, 50. Make it easy. Do uh, another 50. Do another 50. Do that and do zero. Okay. So now here's the thing. Here's a $214. Here over here is the um, unit price right here. Here's the amount of leads to expect. Here's the total amount of leads. This right here is the lead to deal ratio right here, and this is the average profit per flip. Now, if you're in California, obviously the average profit is going to be higher than that. If you're in Phoenix, maybe it's going to be five to ten thousand dollars. It just depends on your market. So let's call it five thousand dollars to make it simple. Well, on a two hundred and fourteen dollar marketing budget, you could put out fifty bandit signs. You could send out fifty yellow letters, right? Or you could handwrite them yourself and do more. You could do uh, fifty to maybe an inheritance list, and you could uh, scout out fifty vacant houses, which are free, and you can just send them a letter, handwrite a letter. Okay, so if you do that, you've got two hundred and fourteen dollars of marketing, five hundred and eight, five thousand eight hundred and eighty six dollars of profit revenue. So how do you scale this business? How did Mike scale his business to eighty five thousand dollars in seven months? I'm going to show you how. What you do is you take this five thousand eight eight six. Now, for me, I 
believe in tithing. I think it's incredibly important. It's one of the number one secrets to my success and other students. If I have guys that come up to me and say, hey, listen, I got a problem. What's my problem? I don't understand what I'm doing. I'm doing everything right. What's my problem? And I ask him, are you tithing? Are you giving? Are you Because what happens, if you don't give or tithe or give to charity, it's, that means your whole financial is, is – is you have to open up the flow. And you, money is like energy. You have to open up that flow. If you want to get activities going in your finances, give, give, give. So my rule of thumb for my family, right, and I'm not saying you have to do this. This is what I do, but I just believe it in highly, is that out of here – I would give $5,887 to church, right? That's what I would do, right? And uh, for you, it might be different. Now here, then you take 15% and you plow it back into marketing, okay? So now what you do is you go 15%. Let me go to 15%. Da, da, da. We got 5886 times 0.15. Boom. $882. Now we got $882 to play with. Now, Now, see, people go, when I do a goal for my business, do I say, I want to make $10,000 a month? No, that's not the goal. The goal is to say, I want to spend X amount on marketing. So your goal should be, I want to spend $10,000 a month on marketing. Because if you spend $10,000 a month on marketing, you're doing well. But here, let's back to our example, $882, right? So now what we do, let's say we do 100 bandit signs. And here we do, um, let's say we do 200. And we're down to, to let's say, 200 here. We're at 753, 50, and $100 in at marketing. So we're at 853. We're close. So now look at this. Here's your leads. You got a total of 70 leads coming in, 2.8 contracts, $14,000 of revenue, $13,000 of net revenue, less um, advertising and any type of operating expense. So 13,114. So for me, I would write 10% to church, $1,300 would go to church, right? And then the balance, right? I turn around and take 13,114 times 0.15. Boom. Now I have $1,967 to spend on marketing, man. I'm like, woo, I'm excited, right? So now, now we go and say, okay, I'm going to do 200 bandit signs. Now I'm going to do, um, so I get 1,900. So I'm going to do 1,000. Boom, I'm at 1,800. Oops, okay. So let's do, uh, let's do 750. I get carried away. All right. So now let's do 300. And let's go here, go to 200, uh, let's call, uh, let's go 300, okay. So now we're at 1963, we're at 1967, we're right on the money. Boom, now check this out. Look at that. 154 leads come in, they're all going to a voicemail, right? Now, here you might have a virtual assistant, right? Call these people back. Boom, look at this, 28,000. And you're wondering, how the heck can you do this? Well, guess what? In my business, take this and quadruple it. And then all the only thing is, like, like I said, I'm not smart. I'm not intelligent. I'm not, you know, the thing is, it doesn't matter where you come from. You can scale your business by just plowing in 15%. Make sure you give 10% to church. Now, here, you can, I'll show you how to get this for free at the end here on how you can get that, uh, that spreadsheet. But here's the deal. Mike. $85,000 by scaling his business. $85,000 by scaling his business. That is not bad. That's pretty good. If you ask him, it's the best decision he's ever made in only seven months by scaling it just like that. Now, let's talk about the number one common thread on why these four and many others are super successful. It's because of my Flip to Freedom Academy. People have listened to the podcast, and that gives you a ton of information. They've read my book, and it gives them a ton of information. But when you have video tutorials, it's an exclusive 19-week HD video tutorial training that goes through in detail, step by step, every single detail. that you, I, I mean, I meticulously went through these. These are studio quality, crystal clear tutorials that are not long. They're short little bursts, so you can turn around and you can apply the information. Now, it gives you absolute control of your future, okay? Absolute control, and it's easy accessible. You can access it 24 hours a day. Now, here's one of two fast action bonuses. You get six hours. It's called a fast start training for your, to your first big check. The number one focus of this fast start is to get you your first check as fast as humanly possible. 
And uh, there's basically six hours that you can download and listen to on your iPod or whatever. And it's like a master's level dissertation on exactly the steps from start to finish and what you need to do. Okay, it's phenomenal. Now, there's a social dashboard inside the Flip2 Freedom Academy where you can interact with like-minded students. If you're in a particular area and you want to do a deal, well, you can contact someone because you can message people inside there, right? You can message people, and you can, talk, and you can do a deal. You can find people in your state, and you can partner on deals with them and, uh, and do deals and, uh, and start you know, collaborating that way. Now, this 19-week is, is intense. Okay, now I'm going to blow through this. Now, here, a module one. Yeah, each one has the introduction. We have building the ultimate lifestyle so you know exactly where you're doing. This one module will basically give you 100% clarity on exactly the potential of what you can build. Top 10 reasons why real estate investors fail. This is critically important so you don't make those mistakes. Planning your escape. This is so important because guess what? You have to know exactly how much money you need to save so you can quit your job and you can spend full time on this business, right? So you have to know exactly how many deals you have to do to get to that point, and planning your escape shows you exactly that. Module 2 introduction, wholesaling explained in detail of exactly what it is. Uh, subject to investing explained with case studies, case studies on wholesaling, and the big test. Here's the deal. You'll get tested in this business just because – that's how God is, you know, test you. Because the thing that happens is, is that, uh, you know, is that it's new and we're going to go through these obstacles. But guess what? If you understand that these tests are going to come and you realize it, then you know how to overcome it. So module three, tools and resources to use, how to buy a domain and hosting. Guess what? I give you the website templates and everything and teach you how to upload it, how to set up your hosting account, how to set up your email autoresponder list so you can capture sellers and buyers, Right. Uh, module four, how to get tons of free traffic from article directories, how to do internet marketing, how to build a huge buyer's list using free, free class, classified sites. Like, um, like we talked about with Matt, he used uh, the free classified list to do that, and I show you exactly how it's done. How to get free traffic from Google. This is great. Uh, five mo mo module five is how to find out exactly what cash buyers want, right? Once you know exactly what they want, then you can basically tee up a property for them. How to manage your buyer's leads using this software, right, email software, email service. How to use MLS to find high cash transactions. How to find and build your real estate investing dream team. Now, marketing for sellers master plan. This is your 12, these are, these are your master plan marketing for sellers. Um, getting your fast uh, start on marketing, laser focused, right? Formula for success and how to determine ARV. You have to know what the value is. And these got downloads, videos, all sorts of stuff. How to determine ARV without a realtor and the fastest and easiest way to get motivated sellers to call you ASAP. Now, module seven, we go through uh, introduction is marketing for sellers online. How to build your seller squeeze page. This is where I give you the squeeze page. You can upload it to your domain that you created. How to create a seller web form. It's very simple. They have a web form. All they got to do is put their information, press send, and you get the lead going right to your inbox. How to modify the free giveaway and add your, uh, add your information. I actually wrote a book that all you got to do is put your name and information and website in there, and uh, it will be ready to go for you to give away to these people. And how to set up one year of automated autoresponders. It's a money machine. Because anytime a uh, seller uh, submits the form, they'll go into a one-year follow-up system that's automatically done. It's a copy and paste. All you have to do is just copy and paste it, and then your sellers will automatically get emails. I get emails from uh, or calls from sellers six or eight months down the road to say, hey, I'm ready to go now. I've got your email for the past six months. Let's do it. Module 8, Introduction, Marketing for Sellers Online, Continued, Setting Up Your Google AdWords Campaigns. I give you the websites, I give you the keywords, I give you the ads, and I give you every aspect, how to build the campaigns and take you in on exactly how to do it. How to modify your website for the highest quality score on Google, how to install conversion tracking so you know which keywords convert and which don't, and I actually give you all my converting keywords. How to create a video to find sellers on autopilot using traffic from Google and YouTube. Now, in module nine is strictly about seller financing. This is when a lead comes in and that they owe a hundred thousand, and I mean it's worth a hundred thousand. They owe eighty thousand. What do you do? This module will tell you exactly how to do that. Module ten, 
This is uh, Making Money with Seller Finance Deals, How to Structure a Seller Finance Deal and Sell It as Cash Flow Property to Investors, and How to Sell It on the Retail Basis. I tell you how to fill out the contracts, what to say, how to negotiate it, and everything. Module 11, the secrets of talking to motivated sellers, finding out if seller's uh, lead sheet is correct, right? How to answer objections and test motivation. This is incredibly important, right? Um, Because if you can test motivation, there's ways to do it without – you know, without offending the seller, how do you give them a low price without offending them and having them hang up on you? Well, I tell you that module. Um, how to soft pass and not kill deals, right? Module 12 introduction, how to analyze the deal and meet the seller, how to analyze the deal and uh, what to bring on the appointment. Module 13 introduction, how to open escrow, prep the property and sell the property quickly. How to open escrow and what to tell the agent. Uh, key steps to successful marketing your property fast. So this all module 13 is now you get the contract. Now you want to sell it. You want to sell it quickly and you have to have the tools and you've got to know exactly what to do to make it happen. Module 14 is negotiating with buyers because what's going to happen is now you are going to have buyers. Now you're going to market the property and buyers are going to call in. How do you negotiate and get the highest price possible? This one module alone will make you a fortune because guess what? If you just, can learn how to negotiate an extra two or three thousand dollars on a deal and you do ten deals this year that's thirty thousand dollars okay that you can tell you how to fill out the contract what to say and how to say it module 15 introduction how to replace your income and quit your job how to escape the nine to five yay um how to scale your business using the income analyzer we go in more detail about that how that works and the flow of your business how your leads are handled and how to scale it okay now here the module 16 is how to hire and train a virtual assistant, right? What tasks do you need them to do? I give you all the tools that you can use to basically set this up, how to use Dropbox, and I give you the docs that you can use with a seller. Um, and uh, module 17 and 18, how to build a dream team of bird dogs. See, module 17 is teaching exactly what I'm doing with my podcast and doing with teaching. Because once you understand that you go from – if you go from, okay, I just want to hoard the market, and I'm just going to not tell anybody anything, but then I'm going to teach everything I know, what happens is people will people bring you – I get – like I said, I get deals from, from bird dogs or, or, or property scouts all the time that people want to sell property. So now, module 18, 19, those are top secret, and those are wealth-building strategies. Now, remember, you get to have member success stories that are inside there from other successful students. You get a vault of forms and contracts, you get spreadsheets and software, and you have a robust community over 3,100 comments right now inside here of people. Philly Mike's in there. All these, all these people are in there. We have um, the Barons Club. There are hand-selected people by me that are people that are successful in the business that are now inside the community, and they're helping me build this sucker, and uh, they're going to be uh, available for coaching inside there, but they're going to be there and help answering questions. Now, there's a treasure chest of coaching call archives that you can access and download over 48 hours of previous coaching calls with unbelievable questions and answers that uh, you can download, and the game changers, the mental game, because guess what? Making money in real estate is not a haul just uh tactical okay it's just like with tiger woods right he got into his mental game he's got the same clubs he's got the same swing he got in his mental game the guy can't win it win it win the thing but we got to understand the mental game now i'm going to make this an absolutely no-brainer for you i'm going to give you a complimentary ticket to our future live event okay we have a, a live events twice a year and you're going to get a complimentary ticket to come to one of our live events, you get to meet everybody. You get to meet the Barons Club. You get to meet, um, you know, meet uh, Matt, meet you know Dustin, meet all these guys, and uh, and learn from other people and learn exactly how to do this business. Now, I have spent over one year of my life doing this, and it is by far in the marketplace because I went out and I looked at everything. It is the best, most comprehensive interactive, one-of-a-kind, detailed system that you can buy in the marketplace today, that you can be a part of in the marketplace today. So here's the deal. Consider this number, 78. Now, 78 is the average life expectancy in the U.S., okay? That's the average life expectancy in the U.S. 
Now, I'm 42 years old. Now, if I take, well, 78 minus 42, it's 36. So essentially, I have 36 years left in my life. Now, if I take, now, your number might be different, who knows? But a fourth of it is gone to sleeping and eating and going to the bathroom and all this other stuff, right? So a fourth of it's gone. So essentially, I have 27 years left. Your number might be larger or your number might be smaller. But just calculate it out. Would you want to spend the balance of your years struggling to make ends meet, not living the life you want, not spending time with your family, and not feeling secure about your financial future? Do you want to spend the rest of your years of your life doing that? Because guess what? Everyone, you know, everyone, time flies. I'm 42. Man, holy cow. I can't believe how fast time, fast, how, how fast time is flying. I mean, my daughter turned nine. I can't believe it just a couple days ago. It's amazing how fast she's grown up. Now, working on building someone else's wealth. Do you want to spend your years, your last years, building someone else's wealth? I don't know. The question is, how fast do you want to change? How fast do you want to get wealth and independence out of the way and you can start doing what you want to do and spend time on other things? Like for me, I like to spend time at the beach with my kids, right? I love doing it. Love having going out there. For you, it might be different. You might be sipping fine wine with uh, you know, friends or, or doing whatever you want to do. But the bottom line is choice is yours. So the question is, how fast do you want to get changed that? Well, I hope your answer is now instead of later. See, you're wondering probably this is you know, how much does the Flip to Freedom Academy cost? Well, if you were to ask successful students, like Mark, for an example, who's made $8,292.55 on his first seven days of signing up. Ask him. Uh, he'd probably ask Dorsey here. He's $4,675.25 in his first three weeks. Dorsey, guess what? He, they'd all say is absolutely priceless. Now, they have went on to make way more than that applying the system. But the bigger question is this. How much time in independence can it create for you? How much time in independence doing what you want to do can it create for you? Now, if you created seven years of the X amount of years that you have left, well, guess what? That would be 255 joyous days, 61,320 hours doing anything that you want to do. Now, what it would it be worth to you if you could buy seven years of freedom? If you would, if it was a dollar an hour, right? <laughs> That'd be eighty-seven thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. Anybody write a check for it? You know, if you had the money, you buy it for eighty-seven for that, of course, in a second. So I surveyed the members and asked them, "What is it worth to them?" Most said four thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. The lowest was nineteen hundred ninety-seven dollars. So we decided on $1,997, but because you're a charter member and on this call, you're going to get 70% off that, and you're going to become a Tycoon membership is one time for $597 one time, or you can become a Mogul member at $97 a month. Now, there is a distinct difference between the two, and let me explain. A Tycoon member is five ninety seven one time. That's it. A one time fee, you'll never get charged again, and you have access for as long as we're all alive. Okay? You have and you have access to all the modules all at once. All the time. Okay? Versus a mogul, which is ninety seven dollars a month, and the modules are released each week. So each week another module opens up and another week another another module opens up and you can cancel at any time. Okay? So I wanted to try to make it affordable for everybody um, to get started. Now let's recap. 19 week a comprehensive HD video blueprint, fast start training video and audio series, 497, huge list of contract and forms, access to cutting edge software and spreadsheets, exclusive access to the Frippin' Freedom community, coaching call ar archives, game changer videos, that's $9,679 of value. Now, I'll give you a risk-free 100% money-back guarantee to examine it, to inspect it, 
and begin to use it so you can see without risk, I'll take the risk. And if you're not 100% satisfied for any reason, submit a support ticket and we'll process the request right away. Now, after one year, if you look me in the eye and tell me that you have implemented three things and you didn't triple your money, I will refund 100% of your money, okay? Because I believe in this that much. And I believe if you apply this, you will have success. Now, this offer is for charter members only. Right now, we have 1,271 members, and this offer expires at 1,500 members, and the price will go up to $1,997. So that means we only have 229 spots available. All you got to do is go to flip2freedomnow.com, flip2freedomnow.com, and secure your spot. Now, here's the deal. We're at the proverbial fork in the road. You could move toward fear or you could move toward opportunity, right? You could move toward fear or you could move toward opportunity. See, if you move toward fear, you got to look at where were you five years ago? Think about it. Where were you five years ago? Were you driving the same car? Were you living the same lifestyle? Were you doing the, living in the same house, having the same problems, doing the same thing in the same job? If you look back five years ago, and look where you are today. If everything's the same, that if you continue doing what you've been doing and continue on the same path, five years from now, you'll have the exact same results. Or you could choose the path of opportunity. You could choose to go down a different path tonight, right now. And if you choose that path, it could mean amazing things, just like Dustin Thirty-one thousand dollars. He's gone on. I mean, I've done. You know, we got. We closed on a, a sixteen-unit apartment complex and forty, fifty thousand dollars we split, which is incredible. So I'm going to give you this because I know some people are struggling right now and they're going, I don't know, maybe I don't know. This is the fast action bonus number two, and you thought I might have forgot about it, but you will get hands-on support. I will do training every two weeks, live Q and A calls with me. That we'll get on a call just like this, and I don't sleep until your questions are all answered. I go through all the questions, we analyze deals, we overcome obstacles, and I am here every two weeks for you to plug into between me and my Barons Club members to have you plug into and have your questions answered. That is a fast action bonus number two. Now, all you have to do is secure it is go to flip the number two freedom now.com flip to freedom now.com go there right now and you can run you can get the spreadsheet that's on there and number two you can uh secure your spot either a tycoon member or a mogul member now back to the proverbial fork in the road if you choose fear you're going to continue getting what you've always got but guess what if you are forward thinking and you move forward with me you are protected by a 100 percent money back guarantee you have zero risk. If you move forward and for some reason you don't like it 100%, you can get your money back. But at least you have the opportunity to see if you can make it. That's what Brian did. Brian's like, you know, I'll just try to get started. I'll see if it works. And $72,800 later, his life has changed. Now, I can tell you this. Back at this road, my – turning point in my life, my fork in the road for me was when I turned the channel back and I listened to what that gentleman had to say that one Saturday afternoon. That was the fork in the road for me. And I chose to get his course and learn it and get started. I look back today, if I chose not to do that, I can tell you flat out, that would have been the biggest mistake of my life. I would not even be close to where I am today if it wasn't that one decision point. And you're at that decision point right now. Now, some of you might have some frequent last questions. I'm going to answer some other questions for, uh, for you guys as well. But uh, one question is, can I do this in my state? Yes, you can do this in your state. You can do this in any, any of the states across the country. And even if you don't live in the United States, but you want to flip properties in the United States, you can tie up 
motivated sellers, and you can turn around and sell the properties to buyers, and you can make a profit doing it. So yes, you can do it in any state. I haven't heard any state that uh, that you can't do this in. How um, how much startup capital I need to get started? Well, it depends on what you want to do for marketing. You can be like Dustin, and you can have little to no money, and you can start that path, or you can start out with maybe you know just a little bit, and you can start and scale it from there. When you start getting calls come in, you're talking to sellers, and you're making deals happen. <clears throat> what if I need help or if I have a question? There's a couple different things. Number one is we have a phenomenal, phenomenal um, um, uh, community where people are ant going back and forth and asking questions and stuff like that. We have uh, support calls every two weeks, which you can be a part of, and, um, and ask your questions there. So, And if you're a Tycoon member, we have a special where you can uh, get unlimited 19 weeks of email support. Um, for me or my staff, and we'll get back to you within 24 hours for Tycoon member only. Because we can't obviously help get service to everybody because we'll just be doing emails all day. Anyways, can I start as a mogul member, mogul member and upgrade later? Yes, you can start as a mogul member and upgrade later, but the problem is this. We don't have any way to, um, in our shopping cart, to credit. So if you're in there for six months and then you want to upgrade, it's still going to be 597 Okay, So there's no way to prorate at all inside there. And I know people have questions. I'm going to answer them real quick for people. But the um, the bottom line is this: is that you know people wonder, can I do this in my state? Yeah, absolutely, you can do this in your state. Can you do this in your county? Can I do this in a small town? Absolutely. There are people in small towns all across the entire country doing incredible. What if you're in a town and there's no cash buyers, there's no cash transactions? Well, guess what? You can do seller financing. Okay, you can do seller financing. Um, uh, you know, it, it, I, I got guys in Iowa, I got guys in Ohio, people all across the country in these small little towns are doing seller finance deals and making checks, which are phenomenal. So yes, you can do this in uh, other states in the country. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to answer some questions real quick. Do I know the best way to form our business LLC corporate database um, for that? I, first off, I will go out and get your first deal, go out and get a check, and then you can go to LegalZoom or any one of um, the legal sites, and you can sign and get up a, an L. You can create an LLC for like $295, um, but I would suggest don't let that stop you from getting started. Go out and get your check as fast as possible. Yeah, the, we are continuously – people are asking about the 19 weeks. The, the 19 weeks modules are in there, but we are continuously adding content in there through the coaching call archives. We're adding stuff in there. So it's, it's, a, it's a continuous membership. Um, you can sign up as a, uh, it's a Tycoon member and have access to everything right away. Um, and there is no re reoccurring charge after that. Or, you know what, if you can't afford that, you can start at $97 a month and, um, and then um, you know, go from there. If you sign up for the academy, do you always have access to the training? Yes. Um, Brandon said, um, are all the videos right away? Do we have to wait for them? Um, you have to, if you're a mobile mogul member, they're time released over 19 weeks. If you're a tycoon member, you have access to everything right away. Yes, you get all your Ash, Ashley. You get all your forms needed inside there. And this is uh, Stephen. I, I, I answer the questions. If you're a mogul member, you can. They're they're time released and they come available every week. If you're if you're a, a Tycoon member, you have access to 100% right away. Oliver Thompson, I can't maximize the screen. I'm kind of stuck on that. And this is from Gerald Ferguson. What do I do if I keep track of when um, you need to mail a list a second or third time? How do you keep track if you want to mail a list? Well, if you use a, if you use a service like um, if you use a service like Aweber or even Mailchimp, which is free, um, you can it will give you a tracking mechanism inside there, and you can track on how many people opened the message 
and how many people didn't. And you can actually segment the list of people that opened it, and you can only mail to the people that didn't open it. Okay, it's pretty easy to do inside there. Can you, uh, this is Kim. Can you get the inheritance list from list source? No, you have to get it from usleadslist.com. Talk to Lance. That's a good question. <laughs> that, uh, it's his fiance now, and it was his girlfriend then. <laughs> so I gotta say that's funny. Good catch, Mike Thompson. What is equity interest from Kim Scott? Equity interest is from equity interest is where it gives you control over the property. Okay, this is when you actually control the property, and um, and now you are able to market the property. You can close on the property. You can resell the property, um, and also once you have a contract, you can that that becomes a sellable asset. You can actually sell that contract, and that's what assignment is selling the contract. What do, you, um, what do you do about being considered an RE agent and no license? What do you, what do you do about being considered an RE agent and no license? Well, um, I, I don't really understand the question, but um, you can do an you can be an agent and you can flip houses, of course, and be uh, represent yourself. Um, if you don't have a license, that's fine. I don't have a license, and uh, I can still flip houses. Um, and if you're working with a real estate agent, that's fine too, because if you're working with a real estate agent, they can potentially help they help you find properties, maybe in the MLS or whatever. Um, if you're going to do like REO deals, they can help you place offers on it, which I don't I don't recommend at at the start. I recommend um, starting with motivated sellers right away on that way, because dealing with REOs, you have to deal with a lot more of a headache. Okay. Holy cow. So many questions. Okay, this is from Bruce. He says, I have found, found, have you found any parts of the country where double escrows are not allowed? I'm in San Diego and hear mixed messages on this. Um, no, I have not found um, where double escrows are not allowed um, across the country. Um, and uh, like I said, I, I haven't heard of any place where you can't do simultaneous or back-to-back -back closing. Um, if the, the, the biggest uh, question becomes, is it disclosed? Is it disclosed that you're using the buyer's funds to close the transaction between you and the seller? And uh, that's the biggest question. Once, once the title company knows that it's full disclosure, then I've never heard of a problem. Mark, guys, submit, uh, submit a support ticket to um, to uh, the, the support test there, and um, Corey will help you upgrade. What do you what do you what do you send what do you send and say on follow up contact of inheritance list? This is from Dio. What do you say or send? What do you do? Is you um, what do you say or send? I send them a yellow letter to an inheritance list, and they call in. And when they call in, I build rapport with them. Okay, and there's and we have inside the Flip to Freedom Academy a, a checklist or a script you can kind of follow, and it will fill in information like about the house and the property and information. And then if they're you know, can kind of determine if they're motivated or not motivated. Okay, um, and then once you determine motivation, then you can set an appointment.
This is from Cynthia. Can non-U.S. citizen do these deals? Yes. You can, secure, you can people outside of the United States buy properties in the United States. And you can, you can buy properties and secure properties via contract in the United States and sell them to buyers in the United States. Okay? So, yes, you can do that. Yes, uh, R.J. Allen says, do we have email access to you if we have uh, an emergency question during a deal? Um, yes, actually, if you uh, go to the Flip to Freedom Now and you go to this page, on this right here, we have a special bonus, 19 week of unlimited email support to receive fast answers to your questions. Either myself or Corey is very, very knowledgeable in that, um, or um, one of the Barons Club's members, which is um, which I am grooming right now to have uh, as coaches in the academy, um, they can help answer questions as well because they're very knowledgeable. Okay, this is from Gerald. It says, "How do I track?" email campaigns of yellow letters. Basically what I do is I take a new list, right? A new list that I, that I have, and I'm going to mail that new list. Um, and, and typically if it's a probate list or inheritance list, I'm going to mail them every single month. I'm going to mail them at, initially on the start with a yellow letter, and then they're going to get a postcard every single month thereafter. That's every single month thereafter. And then if I'm uh, marketing to, um, to say uh, absentee owners, then what I would do is then I would pull the list of absentee owners and then I'd mail the absentee owners. Um, Mark asked, do we offer any private coaching? Inside the academy we have, uh, we will have available the Barons Club, which is we have five groomed coaches that will, that will be able to help people for, um, for affordable coaching inside there. Right now I'm not taking on any students. I'm working with these five. Um, to work with them um, to make them the best coach they can be. Yes, this is a similar type of question um, Steve said about that. Um, you know, a lot of the people inside the academy are partnering together on deals. So maybe you have a person in your certain market that has been in the academy for a year, and uh, and they will partner with uh, people that are newer in their local area. So you can network with people inside uh, the Flip to Freedom Academy and find someone that's in your local market. If you don't have someone in your local market, then like I said, we have the uh, Barons Club that are you know the affordable coaching that we can work with, and uh, you know potentially do something there. Are the squeeze pages in the system? Yes. How does your program compare a complement to FreedomSoft? In other words, would I only need one, one program? Okay, here's what FreedomSoft is. FreedomSoft is a software program to manage all your leads and deal with your, say, virtual assistant. Okay, so it's a lead management system, whereas the Flip to Freedom Academy is an educational system, and it teaches you a specific path on exactly how to go from where you are to go out and replace your income and ramp up this business, okay? So it's, it's different. One's a lead management system and where you can find cash buyers and, and you, can, you can do mail campaigns and stuff. And one is knowing a direct path of where you're going. If, if you don't know where you're going or how to do it or what to say or how to negotiate or how to fill out the contracts or all this information, you can have freedom soft, but – you know, the problem is, is that, you know, you'll have a great tool, but you're not going to know how to, you know, you're not going to have leads coming in or know how to talk to sellers or be able to use the tool to go out and make money with it. I use, I use FreedomSoft every single day, and it's typically for a lead management system. Yeah, so Mark says, um, can I cancel the Mogul membership? You can cancel the Mogul membership anytime. What is the minimum monthly commitment? It's $97 a month for a Mogul membership. Chris has asked, how much is other startup cost? Well, like I said, some like for Dustin, you know, he started off with you know next to nothing, and he found ways. If you if you have a small marketing budget, you can scale that up to, 
you know, up to whatever you want to scale it up to. So you can start right where you are. Now, websites and stuff, those, those are, I give those all the templates. You know, a domain costs like 12 bucks. You know what I mean? So it's, it's very cost effective to get a website up and going and running. And, uh, and depending what you want to do in Google, like Google AdWords, you can determine how much is on a daily spend on what you do. So, I mean, I have a guy, Josh, who started $10 a day or $5 a day, and he turned around and, uh, and his scale is to where I always got three or four deals in escrow. This is E. He says, how much money do I have to make from your system in order to be featured in one of your <laughs> – <laughs> um, go out and get your first check. Go out and get your check. And, and I, I love promoting, you know, people. I love promoting, you know, success stories because those success stories um, should give other people realization that it can be done because all these people are real. Um, they are all great people. They all are. We're all scared and skeptical and, and nervous when they first got started. And they all got started. And they applied the system and uh, and they went out and followed it directly, religiously, and went out and got amazing results. So go out and get your check. Will the forms work in California? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's basically a blanket form that you can you can use um, anywhere across the country, um, you know. But the forms and contracts are are uh, you know are a, a non-issue because it's what you say in the forms and contracts is the most important thing. Out clauses are the most important thing. Yeah, with the information provided for Tycoon, will I be able to build uh, own websites? Absolutely. Show you exactly how to do it. I'm sure you had to basically give you all the templates and everything to go out and do it yourself. Do you have sample letters from? Yeah, yeah, we have sample letters. I show you sample letters, what they look like, so you can handwrite them yourself, or you can have a done-for-you system if you want. Um, so yeah, we show you exactly what to say on the bandit signs, where the calls go, what to say on voicemails, everything. Question, can you go from, yes, you can go from mogul to t an upgrade to Tycoon if you want. Um, we we don't do any prorations or anything like that because it's one product with inside the inside the shopping cart. So, you know, if you're six months in, if you want to upgrade, it'll still be 597 unfortunately. Um, now, uh, part of this is a, a good question in here is that um, – um, once you become a member of the Flip to Freedom Academy, we have uh, five of the Barons Club members that are I'm working with personally that will be that are coaches inside the academy, and you're going to learn more about them here in the coming days. Um, I'm going to be doing podcasts and episodes with each one of them. Um, they'll also be featured within the academy, and they're going to be speaking at our next live event that's going to be coming up here in May. So what's great about it is you're going to have, instead of just having one person, me, you're going to have accessible from five other people that um, have had success or they're having success, and uh, they're working with me directly, and uh, these Barons Club members will um, help me um, assist other, you know, other members in the community so we can grow this thing, uh, you know, to 50,000 members. Holy cow. Tons of questions. This is from Steve. This is 597. Is that a one time fee? Yes, that's a one time fee. Where are the live events going to be held? The first one's going to be in Phoenix, and the next one we're going to pick a place on the East Coast, either you know in Florida or up north, as long as it's not cold. 
as a this is from Jay. As a mogul member, it's 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 um it's a mogul member. You can be a mogul member as long as you want to be a mogul member. You can uh, cancel at any time if you want. It it doesn't stop or end um, because we do monthly uh, two week coaching calls every single two weeks. So if you want to cancel, then then your membership goes away. One of the benefits of the uh, Tycoon membership is it's a one time payment and then that's it. And then um and then you have access for life. Yes, Lewis says, do you show us how to fill out contracts? Yes, we show you, I, I, I show in detail exactly how to go out and fill out contracts and what to do and what to say and how to say it and out clauses and everything. I actually bring you through a contract and what to, what to write in it. Doug asked, does your template plug into a web page program? Um, it's just a simple HTML template to become, it can, it can be edited very simply and, um, and hosted online. So it's nothing complicated. It's, it's really easy to do and it is Google friendly. Um, so you, uh, w if you do choose to bid on Google AdWords, then you can get, um, you can get a high quality score. Does this work in South Carolina? Absolutely, most definitely. George is a great place. South Carolina is a great place. This works all over. Oh, yes. This is Mark. It says, does this system work for wholesaling multifamily? Absolutely. Um, I will be having coming up in the future here because someone asked me that um, is uh, an actual video on how to wholesale multifamily properties, how to understand cap rates, how to understand um, that's a little bit more advanced for uh, some people. Once, once people understand how to wholesale, how to go out and get a property under contract, then you can scale that into doing um, large multifamily projects. And you can do them from you know, doing three to five units or four units or duplexes or triplexes up to 300 units. So um, the, 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 the math is the same. I have a spreadsheet that I give you to kind of, uh, it's actually in the academy right now that you can de determine um, debt coverage ratios and cash flows, but um, I will be doing a series on that exactly what to do. All right, I'm gonna have to cut the questions here because there's like 50 million of them. Go to flip2freedomnow.com and get started. And uh, we have a coaching call if you get started next week. Um, and uh, and I'm going to have everybody on there. And uh, we'll talk about uh, steps to getting started. And we'll talk about all your questions and stuff like that. So that's the coaching call next week. If you're a member of the Flip2 Freedom Academy, I hope you do become a member. Go to flip2freedomnow.com. And I will see you on the inside. Take care and God bless. Make sure you touch.